or fail, dudes. Keep calm and craft on. Hey everyone, welcome back to HGTV Handmade with me, Meg. It's challenge week, which is super exciting because I know that you guys dig the challenges as much as we do. Today we're gonna head into a thrift store and find something old and give it a little DIY revamp, make it into something new. Side note, real talk, it's also a challenging week for me because as you can see, I'm surrounded by chaos. I'm moving in two days. I have no craft supplies in my house. I have no sleep in my body. So let's just dive right on in and make this happen. Hey guys, it's like super loud because I'm right on the street, but I'm heading into a thrift store. Let's go check it out. Looking for some good finds. There was mostly furniture, so I tried looking through the housewares. I thought about maybe stacking these, but I've done that before. Our new place does have a ton of light, so I'd love to find a new planter. So I just found this thing. It's really busted and not that cute looking at all, but it's a vessel that I think could hold flowers and plants and then maybe I could hang it on the wall. So maybe it needs just a good clean, a good sand and a good paint job, I'm not sure. Pretty busted. Let's see. The first thing I did was take it home and on a covered surface, I cleaned it. I just got off any excess dirt or dust that might prevent paint from adhering. Then I sanded it down and I wiped off the schmutz from the sandpaper. Then I gave it a base coat of white paint. I even painted the inside because when it's open you'll see it and it's a mess in there. I let that first coat dry, then added another. Next up, I made my own stencil using my 3D triangle template and the back of an old calendar. With gloves and a mask on, I tried the stencil out with spray paint outside and this resulted in a massive craft fail. Here's what I did wrong. The spray paint was way too close to the box, creating excess paint. <gasps> Disaster! Major fail. I totally know better than that, but as I said, I'm working on no sleep with very little supplies, so forgive the blunder. We learn from our craft fails and we carry on. To recover the messed up triangle, I extended the lines to the base of the box using painter's tape and really pressed it down to create a tight seal. Then I covered any other exposed surface area and held the spray paint back, creating the appropriate distance and it worked out much better. To do it right from the start, use the triangle template as your guide and place painter's tape around its perimeter. Press down on that painter's tape, extend the base if need be, cover any excess surface area, and spray from a few feet away. Always wear a mask and gloves. I repeated these steps on both sides of the box as well, and you can see just how much better this method worked. To fix the messed up triangle, I just touched it up with a little excess white paint. Once all of the paint is dry, I now have a much more modern vessel to put my plants in. I'm gonna hang this on the wall of my new apartment and it will bring some fresh new life into my new home. 